Hello to all my athletes out there in Coach Carr's PE class. This week's activity is a very fun game and it's meant for you to do away from your computer screens and with either friends or family members. So, real quickly, let me show you what that activity is. Our game this week is called Home Bowling. Let me show you what you need to get started with this game. All you need is any sort of ball. So I'm going to be using a basketball. You could use a soccer ball, a volleyball. You could probably even use uh, a tennis ball if you wanted to. But you need a ball and you also need either six or 10 water bottles. You, if you do not have water bottles, you could use plastic cups, uh, anything that can be knocked over without breaking. All right, now let me show you how I got this set up. So right here, as you can see, I have 10 water bottles. I do this in the formation how the pins are set up in bowling. So come on and get a little bit closer. So as you can see, in the back, I have four water bottles. And you can see it makes a triangle all the way to the front. So you go four, then three, then two, then one. If you do not have 10, you can also play with six. The way you do that is by simply removing the back row. This way you still have a triangle where you can knock down the bottles. Another thing you can see is that the way I have this set up is right in front of my couch. The reason for this is because once I miss or if I hit the pins, I'm not going to want the ball to roll really far away. Instead, I'm going to want it to gently hit the couch and then I can... Uh, pick up the ball, reset the pins, and then bowl right again. Let me show you how this is going to look. I'm going to be standing about 15 to 20 feet away from the water bottles. And as you can tell, I have a clear path. There's nothing blocking the way. So when it is my turn to bowl, there's not going to be anything that is in the way between the ball and the bottles. So. Now that it is my turn, I'm going to look at the bottles. I am going to step with my opposite foot. So the foot that you are not, that is not on the same side as your bowling arm. I'm going to be stepping with my left because I bowl with my right. And then when it is my time to go, I'm going to roll the ball with my right hand gently towards the bottles. Okay, let's see how this is going to look. I have the ball in my right hand right now, left hand on top. I'm going to step with my opposite foot and gently roll the ball to the bottles. Ooh, almost a strike. So now it's time to get reset. Now that I've knocked over all the bottles, except for one of them because I didn't get a strike, unfortunately, I will next time. I'm going to move the ball out of the way and I'm going to reset the bottles. So the way we do this, remember, there's four in the back, just like that. And right in front of it, in between each bottle, there's three gaps. So I'm going to put three bottles right in front of those gaps. Next, I'm going to put two bottles in front of the three because there's two gaps, just like that. And lastly, the final gap, one right in front just like that. Normally when you're bowling, you have two attempts to knock over all the pins. For this lesson, we're only going to have one because we're not bowling from very far away and because we are using uh, water bottles instead of pins that you have to reset every single time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give the ball after I reset my own pins, I'm going to give the ball to the next person in line who is going to be bowling. So now that I finished my turn, I'm going to give the ball to the next person in line. Next person in line is my brother Ben. So Ben, there's the ball. Ben. I've already reset the pins for you. So all you have to do is roll from the same spot that I just rolled from. Got it. Okay, now it's Ben's turn to bowl. Go ahead. Awesome Woo! job. That's a strike right there. I also love the way you stepped with your opposite foot. That was a great job. Okay, so keep everyone's score for 10 rounds. At the end of 10 rounds, go ahead and add them all up. And after you found your total, that person is going to be who wins that game. So 
You can play as many games as you like. Like I said, since we're only bowling once for each round, uh, the games are going to go by very quickly. So, make the most out of it, add up your scores, have a lot of fun, spend time with your family, and enjoy the game. Alright, see you next time. Good luck!